Good evening to everyone. Once again, welcome. So for tonight, we're going to discuss about deballasting operation. That is pumping out of using bulk floor sunroll ballast water treatment system BWTS on a crude oil tanker. So we have a crude oil tanker and this is inside our crude oil tanker. So inside the cargo oil tank, we're going to load oil inside the cargo oil tank. And when we are going to load uh, oil inside the cargo oil tank, so we are going to pop out seawater from your water ballast tank. So we're going to pump out to overboard. So the seawater inside your water ballast tank will be pumped out either port and starboard going to overboard in order for us to have the loading of oil inside your cargo oil tank. So this is the ballasting or pumping out seawater inside your water ballast tank. We have here also the layout. So we have the water ballast tank on the port side and water ballast tank on the starboard side. And we have also the engine room. So we are going to install BWTS ENU inside the engine room and BWTS TRO in, inside your pump room. So inside the pump room, cargo pump room, as hazardous area, equipment and protective system must be explosion proof. So only inside the pump room that the equipment must be explosion proof. So we have here deep ballasting or pumping out. So inside the pump room, we're going to pump out from motor ballast tank, motor ballast pump, and overboard. So we're going to pump uh, seawater inside your water ballast tank using the water ballast pump going to overboard. So we're going to pump out water ballast tank using your water ballast pump going to overboard. So this is our basic deballasting. Next is during deballasting or pumping out. So we have two systems that we're going to use for ballast water treatment system. We're going to use ANU as neutralizer and TRO to take sampling. So we have here our ANU, we have here from the engine room. So we're going to inject the sodium thiosulfate from ANU going to your main ballast line. And from your main ballast line, we're going to take some sampling going to TRO. So here inside our pump room is our TRO. So we're going to pump up water ballast tank. From water ballast tank, we're going to pump out seawater going to overboard. So we pump out from water ballast tank going to overboard. Next, we are going to take sampling going to TRO. So we take some seawater here as some sample going to TRO. And this TRO will give signal to your sodium thiosulfate from ANU. So we are going to inject sodium thiosulfate from ANU into your ballast line. So we take sample and then we inject sodium thiosulfate. In order for our overboard, we have a TRO of 0.1 ppm. We have here also our piping diagram. So our piping diagram, we have the ballast tank in the port side and ballast tank in the starboard side. We have also number two water ballast pump on the port side and number one water ballast pump on the starboard side. And we have here our overboard. We have the low overboard and overboard on the starboard side. And using the B ballast water treatment system, we have here our sampling point. So the sampling point is going to our TRO 2 and TRO 1. 
and also from the engine room you will have from your ANU we are going to inject the chemical you have here the injection point on the port side and also on the starboard side so first we are going to pump out the ballast tank from port and starboard side using number two water ballast pump and number one water ballast pump going to overboard so while we pump up We take also sampling. So we have here our sampling point that is going to either TRO2 or TRO1. So we pump out seawater and then we take some sampling. And we, we also inject our sodium hypochlorite going to your main ballast line, port side and starboard side. So we pump out seawater, we take some sample, and we inject the chemical in order our overboard to have a TRO of 0.1 ppm. So our cargo pump room, as hazardous area, equipment and protective system must be explosion proof. So check from your maker that you have the certificate that their AFU and TRO analyzer are explosion proof. We have here also our 3D. We have the ballast tank port side and from ballast tank starboard side. And then it will go to overboard starboard side or low overboard starboard side. And then we have also our A new injection on the starboard side and also A new injection on the port side. And we have also our TRO sampling. This is our TRO point. So before overboard, we have here the TRO sampling point, and then it will go to your TRO1 or TRO2. First, we're going to pump up seawater from ballast tank port side and starboard side. That is going to overboard. And then we take sampling from this point, going to TRO1 and TRO2. And we inject also from ENU our chemical. We have here the injection point on port side and injection point on the starboard side. So we have here our sampling, going to TRO1 and 2, and our injection point. Ballast tank port side and starboard side. So to have clear view, you can see look also from from three D. So we have here our ballast tank port side and starboard side. So we're going to pump out that going to overboard. And we have here also our something point that is going to TRO 1 or 2 and we have also our chemical injection so this is our chemical chemical injection point on the port side And chemical injection point going to starboard side. So that is our developing system.